Revolution, and welcome to Good Morning Revolution. Uh, Rosanna. And Good morning, Michael Revolution. And Anita. Morning, Revolution. I can't hear you. You, know, you guys are always so quiet. I know you're, you're not so quiet fast. people. <laughs> Especially you, Michael. Ain't nothing quiet about you. Good morning, Revolution, Michael. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, that's better. <laughs> so we've had a big week. Lots of stuff happening. Uh, looks like the Democrats and the Republicans have agreed on an infrastructure bill. And uh, oh, crime. Crime is in the news. Crime all over the country, rural crime, urban crime, 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 crime. And the Democrats are talking about it. The mayor's race, mayor's race is in the news. New York, Susanna, and the Buffalo elected a uh, and, uh, socialist uh, from the working family's problem. They say she's an unabashed socialist. They say she's the first socialist to run a big city since uh, I don't know what's his name in Wisconsin back in the 1950s. Yeah, actually, that's not true. No, there were other socialist mayors of uh, big cities, uh, but I'm not going to be naming no names. <laughs> but anyway, it's it's it's, it's true. Mm -hmm. And um, and then Britney Spears. Uh, <laughs> on uh, Anita, you were you were talking about that yesterday, you, right? Uh, that was a joke, Joe. But but then I read about her this morning in the New York Times, and you know the poor woman had had an IUD inserted and and was forbidden uh, by her father, who controlled her estate to or her life to uh, to remove it. Uh, so I mean, really controlling somebody's reproductive uh, uh, choices really resonated, I think, uh, after she testified. So yeah, it has, it has some merit to talk about. Sure, she wanted her life back. She, she, right. she, she, she deserves that, mm -hmm. she deserves that. And plus, Michael, she made some progressive statements uh, a while back, didn't she? Something about socialist this or that, no? Or, or yeah, was it was about this, with... this time last year. Well, a couple mm -hmm. celebrities did, you know, Chance the Rapper and then uh, Ilhan Omar's daughter, Britney Spears, they all spoke out in favor of socialist reforms of some form or playing out socialism uh, in light of the pandemic. You know, it was very, okay. it was very, especially living in New York this time last year, it was very obvious that um, an alternative system was the only solution out of this mess. And so okay. here we are a year later and it's still true, so. And then there's that actor, what's her name from Long Island, uh, who studied at Yale, she studied physics or molecular biology. And she's a very famous, uh, she married this French uh, millionaire guy. She also, you know what I'm talking about? What's her name? Um, she played, uh, Ballerina dancer, so she's played a number of different. Um, it starts with an N. Anyway, she made a statement like that as well. But um, football also in the news. Michael, uh, what's the name of the guy that came out in the NFL? Oh, that's Caleb. Um, Caleb Nasib, and he plays for the Las Vegas uh, Raiders. I, I seem to think that wasn't the first uh, person to come out as gay in the, in the NFL. I thought there was Michael Sam, but maybe he was an active player. This was a few years ago, the African-American guy. But in any case, it's Pride Month, month and it's um, very important, you know, in, in the class and democratic struggles to understand that all workers are involved in this. You know, we're all um, oppressed under capitalism. But, you know, there are certain things that LGBTQ workers and workers of color, you know, experience that the average heterosexual white worker wouldn't experience, you know. And so I think for someone to give the, the gay community, the LGBTQ community, you know, the stage, um, it's very significant, especially during Pride Month. Yes, absolutely. Everybody should be who they want to be and live the way they want to live and love the way, who they want to love. Nobody's business but their own. And um, and happy Gay Pride Month. And we're going to be marching in New York City at the Gay LGBTQ Queer Liberation Parade. 2.30, Michael? 2.30 this Sunday. Bryant Park. 2.30. Bryant Park. Be there or be square. And, and come and bring your banner. March with us. We're going to have a contention. And we're going to be representing. 
you know, um, we're going to be representing. Rosanna, you're not marching in LA this time, right? Because of the COVID reopening? No, uh, no, I haven't. I really haven't heard anything. I, um, I'm usually on somebody's text messaging, but I, not, there's nothing that has been happening. Um, the mobilization is for, to, you know, to end the filibuster. There's something happening, I believe, Sunday also. Uh, but uh, no, nothing here. We're just, you know, we've just opened up. Uh, people are still wearing their masks most for the, for the most part in stores and things like that. But uh, it was, I, think, I think next year should be a pretty big event. New York is on the mask wearing the, 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 is in the transition. More and more people are taking off the mask, you know, on the street. In the stores, they kind of wear them, but on the street there, you know, like me, I put it on my chin when I'm coming in back and forth to work. And then I try to be respectful, but it's, it's uh, opening up a lot. Um, and I hope it's safe. You know, I mean, I think that's, that's really the main thing, you know, stay safe. We also have a new article on the fight for LGBTQ equality and the role of the communists in it. From, uh, it's called, did you see it, Anita? It's by C.J. Atkins. It's uh, uh, before Stonewall, the communist role. Uh, I think we lost, I think we lost Anita. <laughs> we lost Anita, oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where'd you go, Anita? We hope you come back soon. Michael, we got a new article by CJ. Um, and uh, we encourage everybody to read it. Go to peoplesworld.org and, and uh, check it out because uh, we certainly uh, played a, a role, but we made some mistakes as well. We got to yeah. say that. We, we, uh, Harry, Harry and them had to resign uh, because they weren't able. We didn't give them the support that they deserved, and that was that was a, that was a big mistake. The, the article uh, addresses that. That's I, I thought it, it's very in depth, and I think we all know what the red scare is. There was the two red scares, but we often forget about the lavender scare. You know, there was a time uh, in the '50s where you know everyone who was a homosexual or even a Jew, a Jewish teacher uh, here in New York, they were accused of being communist. You know, even just your everyday progressive you know, fellow travelers. And so it was kind of a double whammy for people like Harry Hay, who were communist functionaries, you know, who were both homosexual and communist. So it was a very dark time in our history. And like you said, I think it's good that we re-examine that history and we move forward, you know, in today's era and try to um, be more inclusive. Absolutely. And anybody who faces any kind of discrimination, you got to support that. That's part of the struggle for democracy, Anita. And uh, and a big part of it. I think Anita is frozen again. Uh, she needs to get, we need to talk to her about her internet connection. So maybe it's, it's the FBI trying to do some little espionage, trying to disrupt uh, cyber warfare, cyber warfare against the Communist Party. This it's may have been, been just a, her way to go rescue Britney Spears or something. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Uh, I don't think, uh, I think, you know, she's got, she's equipped for these peers and she's got the money to fight for her. That's a big problem. Part of the issue is that uh, working class people don't have the material means to, you know, fight uh, uh, for their emancipation because that was one of the big issues for uh, uh, Sister Spears was her emancipation and being able to control her own life and, uh, and uh, her body. Another big issue in the uh, uh, news uh, is uh, crime. There's a crime wave all over the country, rural, small towns, big cities, and the uh, Democratic Party is pivoting towards, uh, they say, uh, not defund, but refund. And uh, they're trying to protect their, what is it, right flank from attacks on the left flank. I, I forget from attacks on the from the uh, Republican uh, right. And uh, 
Did you see that woman who won in, 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 in Buffalo, Rosanna? No, I didn't. I did, I'm sorry, I didn't see it. No. Oh my goodness, black woman ran against the African-American mayor. She was on the Working Families Party line. She was India socialist. Walton. And what's her name? India Michael? Walton. India Walton. Good, strong, Midwestern name, Anita. <laughs> I mean, we lost Anita again. Oh my goodness, we're having challenges this morning. And she won big. And her 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 opponent was a machine kind of guy. He was standing with Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo. And uh, she whooped his butt, Rosanna. Whooped his butt. And 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 now she's the mayor of the great city of Buffalo over there in Western New York. I mean, this is a wonderful thing that's happening in our country, Michael. Yeah, the machines being defeated little by little, you know. I and mean, democracy is being over. expanded. And, oh, I mean, you know, this is like a pink wave. You got a pink wave in Peru. You got a pink wave in Venezuela. A pink wave in Bolivia. Now in Buffalo. <laughs> that's a wonderful thing. That's a wonderful thing. So, but in New York, the progressive, well, it's still not decided to uh, uh, Rosanna. The, the, uh, it looks like uh, the African American uh, guy who was a former cop, captain, police captain, won. And, uh, but there were some good people. Maya Wiley was, was uh, uh, endorsed by Sister uh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. She's still she in second, second place. She's still in uh -huh. they've only they've only counted the first round because it's ranked choice right. voting. Right, right. And so she right, still has right, Maya right. Wiley still has a chance of winning, and so does Catherine Garcia, who's kind of the Democratic establishment's favorite. Um, I did think you she's vote, only, Michael? What oh yeah, I did. You said ranked choice voting. How does that work? It was, and I'll be honest, it was, I thought, it, I was really excited about it because I thought, oh, this is going to be more democratic and inclusive, but it took me like 45 minutes to vote because I'm sitting there reading through all these people because I wanted to make the correct choice. Um, and so, you know, but there were many, you know, socialist and progressive candidates on, on, the, on the slate. So we had to be sure to, you know, vote for them. Um, and like you said, you know, AOC endorsed uh, Maya Wiley, who tends to be the more like progressive left-leaning candidate here in the city for mayor. Um, and so, but, uh, Eric Adams, who is the, he was, um, a Brooklyn, um, Brooklyn based candidate. He is, he was a former Republican too, not just a former cop. Um, and it's interesting, I was reading about him cause I thought, boy, we've been marching around for a year saying to defund the police. How was this police officer winning? And his approach to being a police officer is much different than many others. Uh, he experienced abuse when he was young. I'm not justifying it, but he experienced abuse in the hands of the police when he was younger. And so he said, I'm going to join the police and try to be, you know, a quote unquote good police officer. And so that's interesting that that's his, that's his point of view. Um, he's not progressive by any means, but he does have a lot of labor support. So that's important. We have to understand, you know, that's contributing uh, to his lead. Uh, but it is surprising that Maya Wiley, the progressive, is in a, in a, in a close second. So we'll see as the uh, votes are counted, the different rounds, the second choice, third, for, uh, third choice, fourth uh, choice, fifth choice, and then, of course, the absentee ballots, which won't be counted until the 29th. Uh, we'll see what the outcome is. You know, okay. I think that, that you can say, uh, how are you going, how is New York voting for a cop? Uh, and 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 not look at why is how many of those that were out on the streets actually voted, and that's what's you know it's not New York it's it's per se but it's um, you got to get out to and you got to get out there and vote. You can't you know if if you're questioning how is this possible you have to take a look around and see how many of your peers voted. How many actually went out on the street, you know, to do that? They went out on the street to demonstrate, but did they take the next step in voting? I mean, that's our reality. We have to get out there and vote. We, you know, we <clears throat> marching in the street is is only part of the struggle, but we have to engage in the other aspects of it. And I'm glad, and, and I think that's the other 
part an important thing that you did was to do more research on on this uh, uh, thing Adams <clears throat> on Adam to um, to really get the full picture of things because if he is going to be elected then he is the one that everyone has to deal with and to have some background and knowledge I think is is key and not just to uh, put a blanket statement on 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 him but we got to figure out how we're going to work with them with him and others yeah and i th i think it's also important that uh we remember like you're saying you know a lot of people didn't vote um and it's a very small i mean new york's a, one of the biggest cities in the world obviously and i think it's like eight or nine million people in the city proper than like as many as 13 million you know in the metropolitan area something like that and i don't even think a million votes have been counted yet and so that's really not a lot of votes at all. It's not very representative. And so, yeah, I agree that it's a problem. Well, you know, turnout was uh, uh, up in the primary this time. It was the largest since David Dinkins won the, uh, what do you call it, the mayorality or something like that back in the day. And, uh, but still only an infinitesimal part of the electorate votes in the primary. You know, so you're right, Rosanna. If, if you want to be part of the uh, a solution, you can't uh, uh, boycott the uh, the uh, primaries if you want, you know, your candidate to win. And uh, that even goes for yours truly, because I'm not registered in the Democratic Party, so I'm an independent. I want to register for the Working Family Party or the Communist Party. I, that's my sectarianism, so I'm not, you know, I, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I struggle with that issue. Uh, but you gotta be, you know, you gotta be in it to win it. You gotta right. be in it to win it. That's, that's the important uh, uh, thing. Well, it looks like they got an infrastructure uh, bill, Rosanna, and uh, uh, some kind of, uh, I haven't followed the, but it, the details closely, but they reached uh, some kind of an agreement with the GOP. Uh, does anybody follow that? Did you read about that, Rosanna, in the newspaper? This no, I, no, mm -hmm. no so I it looks like that infrastructure bill is, is, is yeah, and, and it can't come too soon, you know. Um, and so Biden's, some, I think Biden wrote that uh, an agreement has been made. I, I saw that headline last night on the news and so you wonder how much of it um because you know when the f news broke about it it was like a big progressive thing people were celebrating it when he first announced it and so we'll see how much of it uh, when it's implemented really is you know going to benefit the workers i'd say well there were some important provisions in that bill uh, particularly for women and, uh, mm -hmm. and some provisions for child care and um and so on and so forth. So we're gonna to have to see whether or not those things have been maintained. Okay, do we have any um, webinars coming up, Michael? Um, we have one on the, on the 30th uh, for the third reconstruction project of the Poor People's Campaign, uh, the fight against white supremacy on the ground. That's gonna be on oh, yes. June With 30th. The, uh, what day is that? June 30th. June 30th, uh, and that's with the, uh, who? Who's the sponsors? Uh, co -sponsors people's world, uh, people's people. world, and poor people's campaign. No, not the poor people's campaign. It's the uh, encyclopedia of the left, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's about the poor people's campaign. Uh -huh. Don't get confused about that, because yeah. you'll be getting a phone call from your comrades, out, from your friends out there. And the poor people, <laughs> yeah. Rosanna is very active in the poor people's campaign in Southern <laughs> California. They'd be like, they're I very nonpartisan. Know. They're very nonpartisan. That's true. Yeah. And they say, well, you know, Michael, those young people, they say anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, okay. And uh, and then uh, we got the 4th of July coming up next week. Uh, wow. Well, it's been an exciting uh, week. Lots of, lots of stuff happening. We want to wish everybody a good week. Did we forget anything, Michael, about what we were supposed to talk about today? We got Britney Spears down. We got uh, 
<laughs> just that just yeah. that we have to push now for the um the better care better jobs act now that the the for the people act has kind of been you know put on the back burner defeated by the republicans you know now it's time to push for the better care better jobs act um which will and, make a huge investment in disability services yeah and the pro act and the pro act. and the family act and the john lewis voting rights act you know all of those are really important. We're going to have a democracy summer, freedom summer, as part of our program. We're going to be talking about that on Monday uh, in the Communist Party's leadership. Uh, we want everybody, and our school is coming up. We got a great Marxist school coming up. We're really excited about that. Lots of folks coming to New York, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, fun is on the agenda. So sign up for the school. Yeah, I'm looking forward of, to it. You're coming in. You're coming yes, in. I am. Well, good. We got a. We want to have a big party to welcome you. It's been a long time since you've been in New York. Yes. All right, everybody. <laughs> have a great week. You know, stay strong, stay safe, stay in the fight. Take care. We'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.